second semi-final. All Polish players on court. First block goes to Bryle, number one in the white and the black. Michael Bryle, 23 years of age, six foot six, times that one perfectly. For those of you that were with us in Vienna, you see Michael get his face smashed in with his glasses and a big cut on his nose. That's all fully repaired. And Bryle is off to a perfect start. Two back blocks, back to back. You called it, Dave. It's a battle of the blockers. No question with these big Polish lads up at the net. But Bryle gets off to the perfect start. Yeah, he really does. And you're seeing right now that the strategy for Bryle and Fihalik is to go to Peter Cantor, put the pressure on him as much as possible. Oh, look at Bryle just running off the net, somehow controlling it. And here's the dynamic offense of Cantor and Loshak. They love to run different types of tempo. Sometimes it's a low set in the middle, sometimes it's to the outside. They love to keep the blocker guessing. There, Bryle really on his horse running that ball down keeping it up in the air and giving his team another opportunity but there's that quick inside set low shack going cross court and finally getting on the board looks like we have an equipment break one of the lines popped out one of the anchors in the corner popped out and so Grounds crew going to work on that. The players will have a quick little break. And a little bit of a strong effort. Everyone's got these signs in the crowd. They were trying to lift the Germans into the final. And a little disappointing that they came up short against Norway in our first semi-final, but Norway, no one has been able to figure out an answer for them over the last month. Well, uh, it could well be a, a repeat of the uh, Vienna Major a couple of weeks ago if uh, Bryle and uh, Fjallik were to make the final. They were beaten by uh, Moll and uh, Sorum on centre court. Danube Island of uh, Vienna. As for Bryle, uh, excuse me, as for Contour and uh, Loisiak, well, they won their home uh, four star event. Oh, it looks like it's, <laughs> it's actually the line referee that's to blame there. Yeah, that shouldn't happen, though. That, I mean, it can happen. And you pull a little too much up on the line, you're going to get possibly a little uh, breakage. But they'll get that fixed. Players just need to keep their focus now. Need yeah. to stay warm. That's one of the hardest things, you know. Things happen out here. You get momentum. We saw in the first semifinal when Tole got stung by a wasp. And that delayed things, and just when Norway was starting to get some momentum. So regardless of what happens, there's always little unforeseen incidents that can delay action. You just gotta always stay focused, and they're gonna actually measure all the measurements and make sure that the lines are accurate. Very meticulous in terms of making sure those lines are in the right spot. Not sure the point of measuring when they haven't anchored the line just yet, but... Uh, I took the words right out of my mouth, Dan. Everyone working diligently to remedy the situation. Line judge basically stepping back and lifts that line and boom. There's a the release. So that was just a routine way that you straighten the line, get the sand off the line. Line judge didn't do anything that they weren't supposed to do, and the line just snapped apart. So they have the tape there. 
hopefully get this taken care of sooner sooner than later. So just to bring you up to date, this is the second semi-final of the men's competition here at the FIVB World Tour Finals. Uh, Norway won the first semi-final, two sets to one against uh, Germany. And this uh, second semi will decide who Norway face in uh, the big match. The biggest prize purse in the history of beach volleyball from an FIVB World Tour perspective. 150,000 US dollars going to the winning team. And of course, both of these Polish teams know uh, the Norwegians well. On screen here, digging the ball out is Michael Bryl. He and his partner, Gregor Fjallik, uh, were beaten by the Norwegians in the last major on the FIVB World Tour in Vienna a couple of weeks ago. And uh, Kantor and Lojak in the red shirts on the other side of the court were also beaten by the Norwegians in uh, the Gestad major this uh, summer where they finished ninth. Uh, Cantor and Lojak Dane have had a real good run in the four star that's the second uh, tier of events uh, this is they've been in the final four uh, six times uh, winning their event in uh, in Poland so for many people have uh, been saying it's just a matter of time before they convert that form to the majors they've just been a, a little unlucky to come up against the likes of Moll and Soren in the quarterfinals of the three majors this season yeah you know it's it's challenging to to win at that major series level it, it's a whole nother level you of course you have the four stars uh, but I think any player will tell you that the five star level is a little different the intensity is higher uh, teams really come to play there's more money on the line there's more points on the line and as we enter this which already is surprising next year is already an Olympic qualifying you know points are huge so players step up to the plate when it's a five star and uh, but it's something that's kind of learned over time and, and getting that experience of stepping up your game when the big events occur and the five star is like a world championship event is like an olympic event in, in in every way huge crowds not just big prize money crowds media attention television it is the uh, top tier and of course for many people the uh, definitive guide to the form heading into the Olympic Games and as Dane has just pointed out uh, as of uh, September October this year Olympic qualifying begins for Tokyo 2020 a very important event here at the Rottenbaum Stadium next summer where we'll have a world championships here in uh, July of next year before the Olympic Games the summer after yeah, and it's it's huge that the world championships coming to hamburg but hamburg has put on such an incredible event the last few years and having the world tour finals here it's it's really getting a strong reputation on tour not only from the players but the fans as well and this is the perfect venue to 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 host a world championship and so i'm looking forward to this event getting bigger and better every single year and the players from what I have heard are looking forward to it as well I don't know if I've ever seen a line actually delay a match this long. Something was, uh, something had to have snapped or broke that traditionally doesn't happen, but uh, for center court to have this type of delay is a big challenge for the players. You see all four players have been out on the court trying to stay warm. Cantor and Loshak out there warming up back and forth trying to keep their arms and there's a look at Fialik on the left Brile on the right they're just relaxing a little bit on the sidelines on their comfortable couch in the shade 
and uh, they don't look like they have a worry on their mind. Very casual. I totally agree, Dane. It's almost like you want to start it over. It's just two to one, and Ryle and Fialik have the lead in this first set. And after all that, it looks like the measurements are on, and the line is fixed. It's important. I like how meticulous they are because if it's off a couple inches, that can be the difference in winning a match or losing a match. The lines have to be perfect. And most players in their mind know and have a feel for exactly where those lines are supposed to be. So, uh, Bryle and uh, Fialik, that's uh, Gregor's uh, Fialik, the number two in the white and black shirt. Bryle, the blocker, big blocker in the white, and then the red and white shirt on screen there. The number two is uh, Lujak and uh, Captain. Finally back on with play here after a lengthy uh, repair of the line. That's a, a good shot from uh, Gregor's uh, Fialik. Yeah, he was ready to go. Even though they were relaxed in that waiting period, they came out looking sharp. This time it's Loshak going straight down the middle on the second contact. We call that the option play. When the ball is passed to the net, he can either be a setter and set up his partner Cantor, or he can come in with offense, as we saw right there. Oh, there's that tempo to the outside quickly. Great play. Cantor and Lojak. Very far from dynamic. They are so fun to watch. Look at that outside quick set. Somehow, Fialik comes up with it and gets an opportunity. But watching the offense of Peter Cantor and Bartos Woshak, I'll tell you what, it is dynamic, it's quick, it keeps you guessing, and I think it is really elevating and evolving the game of beach volleyball the way they run their offense. Lovely back set from Fialik to allow Michael Bryle to power that ball right down the middle of the court. Total of seven points on the scoreboard. Quick side switch. Just to make sure there's no advantage or disadvantage from the sunlight or wind. No wind at all today. Perfect conditions. Another solid shot from Peter Contour, 26-year-old. Goes up, rips up ball, straight down the line. Peter Cantor got a couple of victories to his name. He and his partner, Bartos Wolschak. And we mentioned earlier, both 26 years of age. They have a long career ahead of them if they want it. And they seem to get better each and every time they step out onto that court. But I really enjoy watching their offense. They are one of the most dynamic offensive teams in the world, and they just have a great chemistry about them. As Woshak putting it away again in that option, second contact. And it's not easy for him to put that ball away. He's a right side player, so he comes in and has to wait for that ball to cross his body before he attacks it. It's, it's a very difficult move. Bryle off the top of Cantor. And you mentioned it earlier, Nick. A couple of weeks ago, Bryle taking a lot of balls right off the face. Pedro Salgado from Brazil went right at him and doesn't have it bandaged up anymore, so believe that it is healing. But as a big blocker, you're getting your face over the net. Sometimes the ball ends up right 
between the eyes. Look at that shoot to the outside. There's that tempo that I'm talking about. Here it is again. Oh, beautiful. Crowd love it as well. Very entertaining. Very skillful. You just don't see it. A lot of teams don't do this type of movement. There's the block, the cover, he goes wide. And look at that little shovel set to the outside. And then they say, well, let's do it again. The other way this time. See how much that makes the blocker move laterally? He can never get set up. Ryle running to his right, running to his left. And it's just too quick of an offense for him to get set. And it gives you such an advantage offensively look at that that ball ends up 15 feet from either player after the quick high tempo offense of Cantor and Losha it's a good shot from Brial very very closely matched these two teams it's uh, actually just the fourth time that uh, two Polish teams have made the uh, semi-finals in the uh, history of the FIVB 2015 2016 they did it twice there's a good power play there from uh, Cantor that's that ball at uh, Brian that's an important break now for Poland at eight to six a bit of help from the net. Brow with the service. Cross court to Cantor. There's the set from Lojak. Over the top of the block. No problem at all. As we mentioned, these four players know one another well, of course. And so, don't be surprised if this goes back and forth and goes into overtime because of it. It's hard to get an advantage when all four players are very familiar with one another. Bialik right there, just squeaking the ball by Cantor. Right down the middle, see the glasses coming off. Time targeting Lojak with the service and uh, like his partner Cantor, both players in the red and white shirts happy to serve, receive, and then finish it up. Difficult to pick one of these Polish sides at the moment. That's uh, an easy giveaway service error. Gives the break back to the Polish players in white. And that is Bryle and uh, Fielek. Bryle it is with the service, right up at the net already. Good touch off the block by Cantor. Number one in red, going up high. Smart play, you don't want to try to power low against either one of these blockers. Peter Cantor or Bryle at the net. They're very tall players. You want to go high hand. So even if that ball's blocked, it comes off higher. You can cover it, maybe get a second opportunity. If you try to hit low and power through, you're going to get blocked, and that thing's going to come right back at you. And that ball just out of bounds. So players kind of settling in here. No one making any big moves just yet. Take a tech timeout after this point. Lojak, Cantor on the attack. Well spotted. Very closely matched at the technical timeout, halfway point of the opening set. Gentlemen in the white shirts for Poland are leading 11 points to 10. And here, the other Polish team in the red shirts getting that point going into the technical timeout. 30 second break. 
with uh, Bryl and Fulick. second half of the first set it's a big serve from uh, Lojak to Bryle Bryle now fires it back at his compatriot and good work from the big player yeah Bryle rips that ball cross court and it's dug by Lojak and then Bryle has the wherewithal to get up quickly at the net press over and get the block as Cantor was trying to go to the corner like an open hand attack by Cantor, but nonetheless, it's a stuff block. Here's Bryle with service. Floats it to Lojak, and again, he's beaten him at the net. It was Cantor that really started on fire, fire with a couple of blocks. And now, look at Bryle just sealing the net. It's not about going high over the net, it's about pressing on your opponent's side and really sealing the net so there's no space between you or that net. That's an effective block. And a lovely back set from uh, Lojak to allow his partner Cantor to fire that ball down to the sand cross court. to his service. Here's Bryle on the attack. Oh, and that block almost in, but just a few centimetres the wrong side of the line. There's a break now for Bryle and Fjellek at 14 to 11 as we get down to the business end of this opening set. Really a nice block, pressing back into the heart of the court, but somehow that ball ends up out of bounds. So it's too big from Fjellek, the uh, number two in the uh, white shirts for Poland. There's a back set by Bryle, and that's going to go high off the hands. Bryle's been really smart with the way he's attacking against Peter Cantor early on. He got blocked a couple times, made the adjustment. Now he's going high hands, and it has been effective. Three-point lead for Bryle and Fiala. Trouble. Free ball situation. Look at that set. What a set by Peter Cantor. Eight meters at least off the net on the back line, and he rolls the ball up right on top. And Loshek's able to put this ball away. This is just crazy. Fihalik has an opportunity to win that point. But look at Loshek. Ball coming from way off the court. Very difficult. It's a smart shot high off the block and into the corner. Need to capitalize on that uh, impressive save. Cantor and uh, Lojak. Cantor with the service. Bryle sets his partner. Fialik gets that ball off the block. 16 13. Three clear. Gregor's Fialik. 15th season on the FIVB World Tour. Look at how quick that offense is. This team has so much experience between one another, Cantor and Loshak. There's the roll, the cover, 
There's the quick to the outside, beautiful defense by Fihalik, but then two back defense right there, no block by Cantor, and then the conversion by Loshak, high off the top of the block. You know, Cantor and Loshak have been playing together since 2009. This is their 78th FIVB event, whereas across the net, Bryle and Fialik have been playing since just a year ago, 2017. So this is their 18th event. So it's about experience. Beach volleyball is an experience game and a chemistry game. And that's why I believe Cantor and Loshak have won the first two meetings between these two teams because of that experience. Brylin, Fialik have a little tempo outside set of their own, and this time it works to keep Cantor and Loshak guessing. And Brylin, Fialik in complete control right now. Three-point lead is significant. There's an 87 kilometer crush cross court. And then Cantor cannot get it before it hits one of our game cameras on the net system. This ball hits right on the camera and is ruled part of the pole, which is ruled out of bounds uh, immediately. So good effort there, but four point lead right now by Bryle and Fialik, and they're looking they're looking really sharp. You see in the graphic on the bottom left-hand corner, they have been able to put two points together in bunches here and there, where as Cantor and Loshak have only done two points in a row, just once. And so it's about stringing a couple points together here and there, and they start to add up. Four-point lead so far. So they need to side out here now, the uh, two Polish players in the red and white vests. It's an all-Poland second semi-final. That's Lojak. Bartosz Lojak. But it's Cantor that receives serve. There's the back set. Block was there. But uh, not the angle on the ball. The block was pushed out of bounds. Here it comes again in slow-mo. It's as well to get out of the way. Yeah, the question was, did, was there a touch on the ball? And he somehow stayed out of the way. Bryle asked Cantor immediately, and Cantor with the honor call saying that, no, he did not touch it, and it looked like he was telling the truth. Justifies the call out. That's too long as well. Two points back for Cantor and uh, Lusiak. Rare unforced error. You don't see any of these players really making many unforced errors. Usually a point is being earned on the other side of the net. So right now, Ryle and Fialik have to settle down. Four point lead now cut to two. Good play from Ryle over on two. 19 to 16. That was the side out that they were looking for. Nice option right there, Fialik teeing up his partner. Bryle, we've seen the option work quite a bit for Peter Cantor and Woshak. That time, Bryle and Fialik getting in the, the mix. Oh, that's what happens when you challenge low. You go high off the hands, you're in much better shape, but if you try to beat the blocker with a low hit, this is what can happen. Bryle up and over, and that ball landing before Cantor does. No chance of a cover, so Cantor getting blocked. going to have to figure it out here. Fialik with service for set points here. Cantor over the top of the block, right to the baseline. Beautiful shot. Perfect weight on the ball. Just a side out now. Lojak off the top of the net. The ball is out of play. 21 to 17. First set goes to Bryle and Fialik. Bryle and Fialik were just a stronger team here. They were more solid. They kept their composure, less unforced errors. 
and just played steady throughout. And like I said, we're able to really string points together, some back-to-back -back points, which really started to add up as we take a look at the match statistics. Five blocks to zero for Bryle up at the net. I actually, I thought that uh, Cantor had a couple of blocks, but maybe I was mistaken. Let's look at the uh, service phrase placement. Bihalik and Bryle going to Peter Cantor the majority of the time. 85% of the serves going Cantor's way. And they believe that they can score some more points off of him. He got a little frustrated late in that set. Tried to hammer a couple balls. And we saw the block come right back at him. So for some reason, Bryle and Fihalik believe that Peter Cantor is the right target. Bryle puts the first point on the board, having won the first set. And it's a must-win scenario now for the Polish duo in the red vests, Kantor and Lusiak. They need to win the second set to take it to a third set tiebreak. Getting a little steamy in the crowd there. It's a great play from Lusiak over on two. Very quick, difficult to see it coming. Lozak's such a deceptive player, you know? If you saw him walking down the street, I don't know if you would peg him to be a volleyball player. He's just kind of real casual, hat off to the side. But wow, is he explosive, and he sure does get it done. Good shot from Bryle. He's really enjoying himself up at the net. There's a cross body hit. Come across the body, getting the ball quickly to the sand by getting that rotation on the top. It's a shank pass. Oh, wow. There's athleticism right there. Peter Cantor and Loshak showing the chemistry between them. This ball's dug maybe just a couple of feet. And somehow the set is right on point. And look how quickly Cantor gets up and hits that ball. That is a spectacular display of athleticism. 200 centimeters, six foot seven, with quick hops to get to that position and get that ball to the sand. Service error gives the advantage back to Bryle and uh, Fialik. This is uh, Gregor's Fialik with the serve. He's already won the first set. They'll be looking to wrap this up as quick as they can, Dane. Uh, the gold medal match played early this evening. Not a lot of time uh, to rest up for that uh, huge prize purse. But again, Bryle, ever effective at the net. Having a really good match here. He's been fed some beautiful balls by his partner. Smart play. Brown pulls back his hands. He knows it's going to be a shot. Doesn't want to get in the way of that shot because of Fihalek's defense in the backcourt. Smart play and then explosive to get up and down. And it's a 4-2 lead. And Brown and Fihalek already striking in this second set. Service error. Rally ball point scoring, whether you're serving or receiving serve. Ball to the sand gives either side the point. To try and get a service run going here now, Cantor and uh, Lojak. Pretty easy for the duo in the white shorts, Bryle and uh, Fialik just to coast with this, having won the first set, just trading uh, side out for side out. Brown with the serve, serving Cantor. Oh, 
Tour wins this time at the net. Beautiful set right there. And you know, Cantor and Loshak are, are playing well. They're just not scoring the points that they need to. They're playing decent volleyball, not making a lot of errors, but they need to somehow figure out how they can score points while serving. Well, pinpoint, perfect roll shot over the net there. Bryant and Fiala really looking solid. So outside of the antenna, which is ruled out of bounds. Great hustle by Lushak, setting that ball up in the air. There's the shank to the left. It's not where Cantor wanted it. He looks for his partner for a little help. Great effort there. To keep that ball in play. But it ends up just out of bounds, so point for Ryle and Fihalik, and they're starting to feel it. You can see the confidence building on their face. You can see the intensity, and they're starting to, to taste it up a set and really playing well. call a 30 second break per set but uh, that's come quite early for Peter Cantor and Bortoz Lozjak uh, trying to stop the momentum of uh, Bryl and Fielek here uh, Bryl and Fielek in the white shirts Cantor Lozjak in the red shirts flag stays down it's a good shot Great shot, high over the block of Ryle. And Peter Cantor really pinpointing that roll shot. He's not just a power guy, he's got the finesse shot. But like I said, they need to score while serving. Let's see what they can do here. And there's the ball up and out of bounds. So again, Vihalik or Ryle putting the ball away. And they're not having a lot of trouble right now. Even though this block is nice and solid, it's taken away a lot of area. They're able to go around it with a lot of power. And they haven't been scared into trying to avoid it because of the lack of blocks from Peter Cantor so far. Ah, there's a little cheat move by Fialek, thinking that the ball's gonna go over the block and to the line. And at the last second, changing direction. Peter Cantor going to the open court. Smart shot. Bartosz Lozjak with service. Trying to stay in this match. They need to win this set to take it to a third set tie break. Good block from Cantor at the net. They're just one point behind now. Since calling that timeout when they were trailing by three. They found it. Better rhythm to their play here. Cantor and Lozjak in the red shirts. So finally, a definitive stuff block for Cantor. And they're trying to get a little run together, maybe get another lead. And there's Cantor. I told you early on, if he catches fire, look out. He's a momentum type of a blocker when he gets his blocks. They usually come in bunches. And look at that big move to seal the line at the last second. Difficult for the hitter to see exactly where that blocker is going to come in. And make it two blocks in a row for Cantor. Can he keep it up? Oh, there's that trickler off the top of the net. 
Well, they deserve a little bit of luck. They take the lead for the first time in this match. And that's what they needed to get back in. A couple of big plays, maybe a lucky play like a trickler. And all of a sudden, the momentum has swung. Another kiss off the tape of the net. Of course, no let ball in volleyball. Cantor's there at the net. Oh, and Lozjak couldn't cover for him this time. Important side out for Bryl and Fialik. The roll shot just too good. Fialik so good at cutting the ball, but also so good at seeing. His vision is so solid. He almost has two sets of eyes, one watching the ball and one watching the defender in the backcourt. Well, there's a like it, the ref. double contact, so it's either going to be called a lift or a double contact. The double contact when the ball is not contacted simultaneously. Sometimes, although it doesn't determine a double, there's spin on the ball, but it comes down to a real judgment call by the head referee. And Right, to, right there, Muller, the head referee, was all over it. So here's a chance for Bryle and Fjellek to go clear as we head into the tech timeout, halfway point of the second set. Oh, that was a great block. Just too much heat on the ball, and it ricochets just long. But you can't block it any better. The move is there, maybe was a little bit late getting up on his timing. That's about the only thing I saw was off. Twenty-one points total on the scoreboard. Thirty-second break. Tech timeout, and the advantage back with uh, Bryle and uh, Fjallik in the white shirts, having already won the first set, twenty-one to fifteen just leading the second set at the halfway point. It's a great look at a one-handed attempt by Cantor, trying to get up and reach as far over as possible. It's a risky play because your block is no longer solid. But Cantor, Wojciak, they need to take some risks. Well, uh, these two players on screen put on a brave show in the last major of the FIVB World Tour, taking the silver medal in uh, Vienna. They've already uh, lost to Moll and Noy in the pool. Yes, And uh, interestingly, that uh, Cantor and Lozjak in the red shirts, uh, they lost to the Italians as well. So quite a complicated affair, the uh, pool play. What a surprise to see some of the big teams go out. Fialik puts that ball right down the middle of the court and uh, takes that break back at 12 points to 10 now. Yeah, you mentioned the pool play, and this event, very different than any event that is played throughout the year. Two pools of five teams, and it, it's really simple until you run into tie breaking. Yeah. That's where it gets really complicated, but of the five teams, if you win your pool, you get in the semifinals. If you get second and third in the pool, you have to play in a quarterfinal match. So that's basically the way it is. You get fourth or fifth, you're going home. And so to advance out of pool play, you need to be one of the top three teams. The problem with a five-team pool is more than likely you're going to have a couple of ties, and then you're going to have to break those ties. And that's where it comes down to point ratio and uh, different matchups where it gets a little complex. But pretty simple. Stay in that top three, and you're advancing out of pool play into the single elimination. Lovely 
lot from Braille. Three clear. Now starting to take control of this second set. Pretty much the same point as they did in the first. Now yeah, not fooled at all by the wide and quick tempo outside. Look how solid the arm locked out, fingers strong, head down. Perfect blocking by Canton and Brown. Once again, athleticism, not getting the stuff block there, but turning off the net, getting his approach, and really making it happen. And right now you're seeing Brian and Fihalek really step up. And I mentioned it earlier, revenge can be sweet. These two teams have met two previous times, and it's been Cantor and Loshak winning both of them. So like they say, when you come up short, maybe you do a little more homework and you're a little hungrier to get the win. And that's how Brown and Fihalik look right now. They just look like the hungrier team that's playing a little bit steadier. Winning that first set has given the Polish players in the white shirts just a slight air of confidence. Again, uh, Lujak uh, able to keep that ball up. Four points clear at 16 to 12. Brian gets up so high, 87 kilometers on that swing. So quick. Sometimes you're trying to place the ball, other times you're just trying to outmuscle the opponent and come with all the velocity that you can. Brian with a service, serving at Peter Cantor. Cantor now up attacking at the net. Good cover from Fialik. Now looks to finish. Lovely little angle on the ball. Deceives the defense and the block. 17 to 12. Five clear. What's crazy is how easy that Fialik is making it look in the backcourt. That's a one handed dig. And then the conversion. But look at him slide into the line. Gets there in plenty of time, one hand, supports himself, gets up, turns into the offensive player, and then does a cut shot, making it look easy. Commanding lead now by Brian and Fiala. Service error a bit frustrating. Easy point for Kantor Lozjak. Come at a more crucial point in the second set. I totally agree. This was a much needed point. Cantor Loshak trying to have, trying to score while serving, and they've had all sorts of problems. That one ricocheting off the left arm, the right arm, and then down. A beautiful block by Cantor. They need to string together a couple more points to get themselves back into this one. Serve from Lojak. Fialik over the top of the block, but the cover is there. No choice but to go over on two. Lovely shot from Peter Cantor. Well, they're making their move, and Ryle and Fialik has seen enough. They still have a two point edge, but they're going to call a timeout and think this one over. Looked like they were completely in the driver's seat, and all of a sudden, a couple of points go the other direction, and this thing could get interesting really quick. Blocks Brial winning that battle. That's a crucial number, those successful blocks. Six to three over Cantor, and that's really been a, a huge difference in this match so far. The thing is, usually when you're getting a block, a lot of times it happens while you're serving, so scoring points while serving is the most difficult. A lot easier.
easier to score when you're receiving, but to score while serving is a big challenge, and Ryle and Fiala can have the edge. So deceptive. You, know, you look out on the court. Roshak, six foot three. Bialik just six one. So he's the shortest player out there, and he's got a great vertical leap. But most importantly, a quick arm swing and great vision. It's a good service. Very strong play from uh, Gregor Stjanic. Surely now they're in a position to close this out, two sets to zero. Stjanic called that timeout just a few points ago. It's all he needed, a little breather, a break in the rhythm. And here he is with service once again. It's another good serve. What a great rally, but it is Fialik who puts the ball away to give he and his partner Michael Bryle match point. Fialik's having a spectacular match, really great. Look at that camera angle, Cantor trying to keep that ball alive, and he does, he has to get right back up because it's coming right back at you. Fialik not giving you a second to rest. He is going to strike when you're out of position. There you see Cantor going backwards, ends up falling down, and you can see the frustration. And on the other side of the net, there's the focus of Ryle and Fialik. They're starting to taste the fact that they're one point away from getting to the finals. So a good service from Fialik. There's Cantor attacking. The block is there from Bryle. 21-15, 21-15. And we will see 